Menschen. Ushering in the new legal year with a service at Westminster Abbey and Red Mass at Westminster Cathedral, His Majesty's judges walk in procession to the House of Lords, headed by the Lord Chancellor, Lord Hailsham, robed in black damask, laced with gold, and the Lord Chief Justice, Lord Hewitt, in a robe of scarlet and ermine, the procession forms one of the most picturesque of the year's legal ceremonies. Italy, in the throes of a big campaign in Africa, still holds her quaint and picturesque ceremonies. The annual procession of flags at Ferrara is one which keeps, even in this modern age, the atmosphere of the 16th century. Tossing the flags is another remnant of historical pageantry, a link with the days of tournaments and jousting. Italy celebrates the end of the grape harvest with a procession through the streets of Rome. But even over such a peaceful ceremony as this, political events are casting their shadow. Comment is unnecessary. The figures in the procession speak for themselves. Buckingham holds its annual livestock show in the main street. So many farmers want to send their cattle to be judged, that the market square isn't big enough. So for one glorious day, Mr. Beef and Mrs. Mutton rule over Buckingham. The censor wouldn't let us tell you what motorists think about it. One butcher has solved the problem of reducing transport costs. He buys on his doorstep. At Heaven on Tyne, near Newcastle, a giant 250-ton floating crane is carrying a smaller brother weighing a mere 110 tons across the river. Moving such enormously heavy loads across water is a remarkably difficult engineering feat. The margin of safety is small, and if anything slipped, the people of heaven might find themselves watching the biggest splash for years. George Lansbury has resigned his position as chairman of the Labour Party over the question of sanctions against Italy. The new chairman is Mr. Attlee, MP for Limehouse, who will lead the opposition in the House of Commons. In the Ryder Cup match, the big international battle of professional golf at Ridgewood, New York, the British team meets with a severe defeat at the hands of the United States. Padram sinks a putt for England, but Gene Saracen goes one better, demonstrating the style that put America on top. Charles Whitcomb, the British captain, congratulates Walter Hagen, who skippered America.